Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys, to any of you having uh, Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ, and if you need to test the MAF sensor, ma uh, mass airflow sensor, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that, why we mention all these three cars, due to the fact that they share the same platform, uh, they're built on the same platform, so if you have a gasoline or hybrid engine, guys, it will work on all of these, even diesels, guys. So, stay with us, we'll cover that today. Now, you will be able to do it without taking anything apart at all, you will be just sitting in your driver's seat, it will take you a few minutes, and you'll be able to find out if the mass airflow sensor is working correctly or not. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let me show you what we have here now guys, we need to find the OBD port, okay, which is located right here under that cover, we are going to connect our scanner, I will put the link in the description of the video below guys, those are so affordable and they're so little powerful scanners, but they're very cheap that what I did, I bought a few and I keep in the glove box of my vehicles guys, I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from, uh, now uh, what I'll recommend, okay, to go ahead actually and turn the ignition switch on without starting the car where the lights come on you're going to select OBD here we'll select that okay let me just hold it because it's a little bit of limited room here okay it's working on this thing now and uh, it should be any minute okay uh, now that's uh, what it says mu codes found zero f problems do you want to select previously recorded data we say yes it's working now, we're going to select the engine module here, scroll down, in our case yours may look different depending on the make and model you have. Now here we're going to select guys, okay live data, we scroll down to select live data, select this one, it's uh, going to read and uh, tell us exactly, okay, uh, exactly uh, which parameters we can check and all that stuff, it will load it and I will show you in a second, okay, where we can test sensors, see live data, see parameters and all these things. So it's almost ready now, it will take probably the whole procedure 20 30 seconds we're going to select view live data you can select custom data everything you just a single thing if you want to see or complete data i'll click complete data set and you can see we have pages and pages of things that you can check here guys check it out so 15 20 to 29 so quite a few guys parameters that can be checked here including the evap system which in some cases it's uh, not easy to diagnose guys so Let's continue now. So for the next step, in order to test the mass airflow sensor, the MAF sensor, you need to turn the car off. If you have a hybrid or a plug-in vehicle, put, it, put the EV mode, guys, okay, for later, okay, like that. And uh, you will need to start your engine. So how you do that, you press the gas pedal and the engine will start. We can go to the page with the RPMs, that's the revolutions per minute per the en for the engine. When the engine is running, I'm holding the gas a little bit at around 1500 RPMs and I can okay i can rev it up all the way to about 23 if i let off it will turn off and the rpms will drop to zero now we need to have the engine running so i'll keep it at about okay about right there uh, 1500 rpms to stay steady okay somewhere there 12 1500 1300 so what i'm going to do now i'll go back we need to go to the mass airflow sensor right here that's the MAF sensor guys mass airflow sensor select this one I'm holding it at steady RPMs and you can see it uses okay about the same amount of grams of air per second which is 5 grams per second. If I rev the engine up it should go up and it went up to 11. If I let the engine uh, idle at lower RPMs it will go back to around 4 or 5. If I rev it up it will go again high. If I let down it will go even more down. Now, rev it up, so we can see how responsive it is. When you rev it up, uh, the mass airflow sensor will be using more, uh, more uh, air, so your numbers will go up. When you uh, rev the engine down, lower RPMs will use less air. So it's, if it's responsive, if it's showing good numbers, it's good. In some cases, you may still need to clean it, okay, to verify that 
uh, it's just not contaminated to where it may not be uh, reading the exactly uh, necessary value but sometimes all we have to do is clean them and we have a special video that explains how to do that that's how you guys test the MAF sensor on Ford C-Max Ford Fusion Link and MKZ hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time